Watch these carefully. There are five mistakes in these clips that often cause you to lose close range fight. Can you find them? Look at this comparison. We stand too close to the wall, and the gun gets blocked. As you pre-fire and then move out of the cover, your first few bullets will always miss on the enemy. After that, there are often two types of movement players often make, either fast jiggle or going straight right. This is how fast jiggle looks like. From enemy's perspective, you're barely moving, and it will get hit by their pre-aim. Going straight right is better than fast jiggle, but experienced players can easily trace your movement with no shots being missed. Also, your movement is slow when you move out of the cover with pre-fire. So here's the solution. Move back from your cover and make sure your weapon is not blocked. You also need to turn the block set warning on in the settings. Secondly, don't pre-fire. Pulling your joystick in a 20 degree angle and spring out of your cover, then shoot. You would have more space to do movement and dodge bullets in that way. It will also throw off enemies' aim point, causing them miss shots. Getting headshot is more important than movement, and these three steps will help you have a 100% headshot rate. Most of the players lost their close range fight because of this. When you are getting rushed by your opponent, you need to rotate your camera and check on their moving path, which gives you better aim tracing. And then adjusting your crosshair slightly above enemy's head for better headshot rate. There's one thing players fail to do. Watch this comparison. If the enemy is a little bit further away, hip firing will make the bullets scatter everywhere, even if you lock your crosshair on the enemy. However, if you open your scope and close it instantly while your enemy is on their head, it can make your bullets way more accurate. Getting a 100% headshot rate and kill enemies instantly. You should not use this trick if the opponent is very close to you. Lastly, Players often fail to take advantage of using cover in close range fight. Most people just move out of the cover and start hip fire while enemies are rushing. You should always put some damage on them by using your cover wisely, but how? Let's watch my tournament end game clutch clip. The enemy was at full HP. I first slightly moved the right after the enemy got me to 45% HP, shot him once, then got back to cover, and moved left, shot him again. We both missed a lot of shots in the meantime, but I was able to headshot him by using a drop shot in the end. I would 100% have lost it if I didn't play with my cover in that situation. The most important thing of utilizing the cover is to be fast and accurate. There are many ways to achieve that, and I will explain these tricks in my next close range fight video. Make sure to subscribe now. Have you made these mistakes before? Let me know in the comment section. I also opened a PUBG Mobile thread in my Discord, where players can ask their questions in my community. Let's get this video over 10,000 likes if you find it helpful.
MC5. See you guys in the next one.